So we start with warm ups. Keep the hands crossed in front. Breathing in, raise the hands up. Hold your breath. Breathing out, spread the hands onto the side. Hold your breath. Breathing in, bring the hands up, crossing them again. Breathing out very slowly, bring the hands in the front. Now in the second round, we will try and do it in a little more advanced way. So you keep your hands crossed. Breathing in, raise your hands up. Continue to breathe in when you bring the hands to the side. Now hold your breath. Breathing out, raise the hands up, crossing them. Continue to breathe out as you bring the hands down. One last round in the advanced way. So breathing in, raise the hands up. Continue to breathe in when you bring the hands parallel at the side, shoulder level. Breathing in, I mean breathing out, raise the hands up. Continue to breathe out as you bring the hands down. Now try and do this a little more dynamically. So keep the hands up. And relax. Now we'll do our Kati Chakrasan dynamically. So first breathing in, bring the hands up and keep it at the level of the shoulder. And then breathing out, go to the right side, left, and then let your breathing be any way it wants. Since you're doing it dynamically, you can't control it with the breath. Come to a standstill and allow the effect of what you have done to sink in. And we'll do sideways bend. So bring your hands up and interlace them. Keep the arms closer to the ears. As you breathe out, bend laterally from the right side. Breathing in slowly, come back to the center, hold your breath. As you breathe out, laterally bend to the left side. As you breathe in, come back to the center, hold your breath. As you breathe out, bring your hands from the side. Second round, breathing in, bring your hands up. As you breathe out, bend from the right side. As you breathe in, come back to the center. As you breathe out, bend to the left side. As you breathe in, come back to the center. As you breathe out, bring your hands from the sides. Last round on your own, start. And then, once you've completed, you can sit down on the chair, stool, whatever you have made arrangements with. Keep your feet firm on the ground. Make sure that you're not leaning on the back of the chair. Half your thigh is on the chair, the other half is outside. And your feet are firm. Both the feet are at the same level as your hip joints. Your hands are resting on your thighs. And then be in yogic breathing till we start the class.
get ready to chant mantra om seven times make your sankalpa i am chanting om creating a protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences antibodies and viruses i am creating three layers of protection on the outermost layer of six friendly creatures an elephant behind me a peacock in front a tiger on my right side a lion on my left side an eagle above my head and a black tortoise below me inside of that i have a big ring with balls of fire i am lighting all the balls allowing a firewall of protection to go up all around me third layer of protection comes from the subtle energy of the mantra om that i am chanting take your awareness to muladhara chakra at the perineum four petal lotus red color take a deep breath in Shift awareness to Swadhisthana Chakra at the spinal terminus. Six petal lotus, orange color. Increase pitch a little bit. Take a deep breath. Shift awareness to Manipura Chakra behind your navel, ten petal lotus, yellow color. Increase pitch further. Take a deep breath. Ah. Shift awareness to Anahata Chakra behind your heart center. Twelve petal lotus, green color. Increase pitch further. Take a deep breath. Ah. Shift awareness to Vishuddhi Chakra behind your throat pit. Sixteen petal lotus, blue color. Increase pitch further. Take a deep breath. Ah. Shift awareness to Agnya Chakra behind your eyebrow center. Two petal lotus, indigo color. Increase pitch further. Take a deep breath. Ah. Shift your awareness to Sahasrara Chakra, center of the top of your head. Thousand petal lotus, white color. Increase pitch further. Take a deep breath. Ah. Shanti mantras. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karavahai 
तेजस्वी नाम दीतमस्तु मिदिशा वह ओं शांति 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 हरि Keep your hands in Linga Mudra. Make your sankalpa. I am chanting Mahamriti Jai Mantra for physical health and mental well-being. Chanting the mantra every day helps me maintain the best of health mentally and physically. All my brain cells and my body cells are operating optimally. and in harmony with each other i can feel your grace my lord penetrating deep into my body energizing each and every brain cell and body cell keeping me in pristine health at all times i bow down before you thanking you from the bottom of my heart for keeping me in pristine health so that you can reside inside my body in your effulgent form pay attention to how you are holding your mudra if you are needlessly tightening become aware and conscious of that needless tightening and relax the mudra relax your neck shoulder and head and get ready for the chanting 11 times om trayambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam urvarukami va bandanan mrityur mukshi yamamritat om trayambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam अर्वाकमी वंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओं त्रियंबक यजमहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धना 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 उर्वाकमी वंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओं शांति 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 हरि जेंटली अनवाइंड योर मुद्रा कीप द मोन योर हैंड्स इन ज्ञान मुद्रा 
मेक योर संकल्प आई एम चैंटिंग गायत्री मंत्र फॉर विजडम इनर अवेयरनेस एंड इंटिटिव नॉलेज चैंटिंग दी मंत्र एवरी डे हेल्प्स मी ऑपरेट in the highest planes of wisdom delve deep within me seeking answers to questions from the universal knowledge resting within me and get those answers and operate very successfully from an intuitive plane get ready 11 times ओम भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओं भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओं भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओं भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओं भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओं भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुवस्म तत्सुर्वरेण्यम वर्गो दिवस्य धीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओं शांति 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 हरि न कृपे हाँ से लिंग मुद्र योनि मुद्रा सॉरी Make your sankalpa. I am chanting thirty-two names of Durga for overcoming distress and for peace and harmony. Chanting the thirty-two names helps me overcome all stressful situations. For I simply surrender before you as your son. You are carrying me through the difficulties, cutting through them with your fierce sword. helping me emerge successful at all times get ready three times om durga durga trishamani durga padmini varini durgam maschedini durga sadini durga nashini durga dodarini durga nihantri दुर्गमापह दुर्गम ज्ञानता दुर्ग दैत्यलोकद वानला दुर्गमा दुर्गमा लोका दुर्गमात्म स्वरूपिणी दुर्ग मार्ग प्रदा दुर्गम विद्या दुर्गम शिदा दुर्गम ज्ञान संस्थान दुर्गम ध्यान वाशिनी 
ದುರ್ಗಮೋಹ ದುರ್ಗಮಃ ದುರ್ಗಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಸುರ ಸಂಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಯುಧಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಂಗೀ ದುರ್ಗಮತ ದುರ್ಗಮ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ದುರ್ಗಭೀಮ ದುರ್ಗಭಾಮ ದುರ್ಗಪ ದುರ್ಗಧಾರಿಣಿ ಓಂ ದುರ್ಗಾ ದುರ್ಗಾತ್ರಿಶಮನಿ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಪದ್ಮ ನಿವಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗಮ್ಮಶ್ಚೇದಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದುರ್ಗನಾಶಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗದೋದ್ಧಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗನಿಹಾಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಪಹ ದುರ್ಗಮಜ್ಞಾನದ ದುರ್ಗದೈತ್ಯಲೋಕದವಾನಲ ದುರ್ಗಮ ದುರ್ಗಮಲೋಕ ದುರ್ಗಮಾತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರದ ದುರ್ಗಮ ವೀದ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾನ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಪಾಶಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗಮೋಹ ದುರ್ಗಮಃ ದುರ್ಗಮಾರ್ತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಸುರ ಸಂಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಯುಧಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಂಗೀ ದುರ್ಗಮತ ದುರ್ಗಮ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ದುರ್ಗಭೀಮ ದುರ್ಗಭಾಮ ದುರ್ಗಪ ದುರ್ಗಧಾರಿಣಿ ಓಂ ದುರ್ಗಾ ದುರ್ಗಾತ್ರಿಶಮನಿ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಪದ್ಮ ನಿವಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗಮ್ಮಶ್ಚೇದಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗಸ್ವಾಧಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗನಾಶಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗದೋದ್ಧಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗನಿಹಾಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಪಹ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಜ್ಞಾನದ ದುರ್ಗದೈತ್ಯ ಲೋಕದ ವಾನಲ ದುರ್ಗಮ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಲೋಕ ದುರ್ಗಮಾತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರದ ದುರ್ಗಮ ವೇದ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾನ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಭಾಷಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗಮೋಹ ದುರ್ಗಮಃ ದುರ್ಗಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಸುರ ಸಂಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಯುಧಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಂಗೀ ದುರ್ಗಮತ ದುರ್ಗಮ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ದುರ್ಗಭೀಮ ದುರ್ಗಭಾಮ ದುರ್ಗಪ ದುರ್ಗಧಾರಿಣಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಗಿಲೋಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಯರ್ ಮುದ್ರ ಕೀಪ್ ಯರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಯುರ್ ನೀಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಯರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ and bring attention to your posture the way you are sitting how exactly have you positioned yourself in your chair how well are the feet aligned with the ground do you feel the pressure between the knees at the feet and the ground are symmetrical on the right and the left side is your fore leg rising up straight or is your knees bend a little forward or is it pulled a little backward or is it on a straight line from the ankle without opening your eyes try to feel it now bring your attention to your breath and watch your breath go in and out saying to yourself i am breathing in when you are breathing in and say to yourself i am breathing out when you are breathing out do 3 4 rounds of this
Now bring your attention to your Brumadhyaya and then to your Chitakash, the space in front of your forehead. Keep watching the space and observe whatever you can see there. It may be complete darkness, it may be spots of light, it may be images coming up. Whatever it is, be an observer. Now visualize a tiny dot of light at the far end of the horizon and as you keep looking at this light, it has started advancing slowly towards you. Keep watching it, it is becoming bigger and bigger. It has become very close to you and it is now penetrating your entire body through your brumatya and your entire body inside is shimmering white light from this light which has entered your body. Feel each and every cell in the body being rejuvenated. Feel all the cells dancing in joy, completely bathed in the white light of the cosmos. Visualize yourself standing in front of the Creator who is nothing but energy. Offer your respects to the cosmos and ask for whatever you want to ask for. Mentally visualize Him granting whatever you ask for. You are actually receiving it immediately. Now slowly experience that this white light is receding from the body, exiting from the Brumadhyaya. And it is receding towards the horizon. As it moves further away, it becomes smaller and smaller. Then once again become conscious of your posture, the connection of the feet to the ground, the room in which you are sitting, become aware of any external sounds, then rub your hands and keep them on your eyes, then slowly release your palm, get ready. So the first practice is going to be lifting your chin up. So as you lift up, this lower spine has to curve. And so when you keep your hands on your knees, feet are flat on the ground. And as you arch your lower back, you will lift up, look at the ceiling and see where exactly you are seeing. Once you've got <clears throat> this movement correctly, you're going to include the shoulder movements along with it. So in the second round, you will start with the Gayatri Mantra. Ega dandaya vidmahe vakratundaya dimahi tanno dandi prajodayade. 
So as you start breathing in, you will arch your lower back, tilt your chin up, raise both the shoulders up as much as you can. As you breathe out for one Gayatri, or if possible for two Gayatri chantings, you will slowly bring the shoulder back, the chin back to the neutral level. Don't go down to the neutral level and relax. And then we'll practice this three times. So get ready. Keep your hands on your knees. <clears throat> Yamani, this is better if you can sit in a chair because then the arching of the back comes in much better. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just give her a minute. Yeah. Get ready. <clears throat> First round, only arching your lower back, raising your chin up, looking where you are seeing at the ceiling. Then slowly coming back. Now three rounds, including the shoulder and the chanting. So start slowly breathing in. Slowly breathing out. Second round as you chant one guy three. Release. Last round. Relax. Now one more time with complete focus on the muscular movements. So be aware that when you are lifting your chin up, there is a complete stretch on the front side of your neck. Your back neck is compressing into a contraction. So this is expanding. The back is contracting. As you are lifting your shoulder up, your upper trapezius is contracted, allowing the shoulder blade to come up, allowing your shoulder to come up. As you're bringing your shoulder down, you're releasing your trapezius. And as you're bringing your chin back, you're releasing the extension of the neck and the contraction of the neck on the back side. So get ready for one Gayatri start. Uh, Yamini, you have to sit a little in the front. Don't go so much behind. Half your, half your thighs. Half the thighs is ah, correct. Yeah, start. Pay full attention to the muscular contraction and extension. Pay attention at the trapezius. As you breathe out, very slowly bring it back to neutral. And now you're going to, while breathing out, Tilt your chin down, so it will be a contrary to what you did. The front side of the neck will be contracting. The back side of the neck will be stretching. You will be dropping your shoulders down. And when you come back, the shoulders will come back to its normal position. So you will take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, dropping the shoulders down, you will be rounding your back. So round your back so that your chin can come closer nicely. And then as you come back, straighten the back, bring the shoulder back to neutral position. So get ready now for one full chanting. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, drop your shoulder down. As you come back, 
So when you're dropping the shoulder down, it is a lower trapezius that is contracted. The shoulder blade is pulled down. Be aware of it. So second round. Get ready. Take a deep breath in. And when you start breathing out, start the downward movement, dropping the chin down, dropping the shoulder down. Chin comes closer to the chest. As you start breathing in, slowly bring your chin back to neutral, shoulder back to neutral. <clears throat> Last round. And relax. <clears throat> now we are going to create some restrictions in the movement. So what you are going to do is, as you are lifting your chin up, you are going to fix your eyes at one point on the floor. So you cannot leave your eyesight from there. So as you are lifting the chin up, it will go only till here. For example, if I have to tilt it further, my eyes cannot look at that spot. So I will only come up till my eyes can keep looking, see the restriction in the movement and then slowly bring the shoulder and the chin back to neutral. So get ready. As you breathe in, keeping your eyes fixed at one point on the floor, raise your shoulder up and chin up. As you breathe out, slowly release the shoulder and bring the chin back to neutral. Once again, second round. As you breathe in, slowly breathing out, come back very slowly. Last round. Come back slowly. Now you're going to Keep your eyes somewhere fixed on the ceiling or towards the ceiling, wherever you are comfortable. And as you breathe out and bend and take the shoulder down, your eyes have to be there. So again, you are restricting your movement because you are disconnecting the movement of your eyes from the movement of your chin. Slowly come back. Second round. And notice how much less you are moving now. Last round. Slowly come back. And now repeat your first movement of lifting your shoulder up and the chin up and see whether your flexibility has increased and you're looking further behind at the ceiling. Experience the improvement in your lower spine, upper spine and your cervical. And then come back. Now, you're going to turn your head. I'm sorry, you're going to tilt your head to the right side. And lift your right shoulder up. And then slowly come back. So you'll do this on breathing out. And on breathing in, you will come back. So get ready. One mantra for going down. So take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, tilt the head to the right side. Lift the right shoulder up. As you breathe in, come back. Now try to reverse your breathing and see what it does for your internal awareness. So as you breathe in, come down, shoulder up. As you breathe out, come back. And now use the, whichever breathing you felt was more comfortable for you. Choose out of the two and repeat.
now you'll do it on the other side slowly come back second round last round slowly come back wait for some time and then once again repeat the first movement of lifting your shoulder up and the head up and see whether you are looking further behind now then slowly the word now you're going to turn the head to the right side while moving the right shoulder forward and then very slowly you will return the shoulder back and the chin back to neutral so get ready as you breathe out as you breathe in you will return back second round very slowly slowly return back last round slowly return back and now we'll do this on the left side so slowly turn your head to the left side bring the left shoulder forward and slowly return back second round return back to neutral last round when you return back to neutral wait for some time see how your shoulders are feeling what you can experience on the front and the back of your neck and now i'll show it to you from the side and as well as from the front you will be turning your head to the right side tilting the head back take your shoulder behind if necessary keep the hand by the side like this and move it behind so it look like this you will first turn the head to the right side tilt it backwards take the shoulder behind and then bring the head backwards and then bring the shoulder forward return the head to the neutral position so get ready <laughs> as you turn the head to the right side and then tilt it back move your shoulder behind as you are returning the tilt back return the shoulder then return the head back to neutral one more time turn the head to the right side tilt the head backwards move the right hand behind as you return the tilt move the shoulder back then turn the head back to neutral last round turn the head to the right side move the right shoulder behind tilting the head behind as you return the tilt return the shoulder then return the head back and relax now in alternation to this you will turn the head to the right side 
tilt the head behind take the left shoulder behind and up towards that center of the head and then return the shoulder and the head and then turn the head back to neutral so one more time turn the head to the right side as you tilt the head behind the left shoulder moves behind and up then you bring the shoulder back return the tilt of the head and then slowly turn the head to the center last round turn the head to the right side tilt the head behind move the left shoulder behind lift it up towards the center of the head and then slowly return the shoulder and the tilt then return the head back to neutral now we'll return on the other side so very slowly turn the head to the left side tilt the head behind move the left shoulder behind return the shoulder and the tilt then return the head back to the center <clears throat> second round turn the head to the left side tilt the head behind move the shoulder behind return the tilt and then return the shoulder after that bring the head to the center <coughs> last round turn the head to the left side tilt it behind take the shoulder behind return the shoulder and the tilt turn the head to the neutral position once again relax experience the effect of what you have done how does the shoulder feel does the when you lift your shoulder up and down do you feel it moves a little more easier than what it was before and then once again tilt your head up see how much more you can see at the back <clears throat> and now we are going to do the opposite so you will turn the head to the left side tilt the head behind move the right shoulder behind and lift it up return the right shoulder and the tilt then return the head back to neutral second round turn the head to the left side Tilt the head behind, right. Move the right shoulder behind and lift it up. Return the right shoulder back and the tilt of the head back. Turn the head back to neutral position. One last round. Turn the head to the left side. Tilt it back. Move the right shoulder behind. Lift it up. Slowly return the right shoulder and the tilt. turn the head back to the center and relax now you're going to start rotation of the shoulder so you'll start with the right shoulder first clockwise then anti clockwise so you will raise the head shoulder up move it forward take it down move it behind raise it up from the back move it forward take it down move it behind raise it up and continue with the chanting if possible when your shoulder is going up you are breathing in when your shoulder is going down you are breathing out
complete the last round and relax and wait. Now you do anti-clockwise. So first you will drop the shoulder down, move it behind, raise it up from the back, move it forward. Do it slowly and feel the rotation at the shoulder. See what is happening at the shoulder blade level. And then complete the round and relax. Now we'll do the rotation on the left shoulder. So start clockwise. For clockwise on the left, you'll be moving behind and then coming forward. Last round and relax. Now left shoulder anti-clockwise. And relax. Now we're going to do the neck movements without the shoulder. So what you're going to do is, as you raise your chin up, you're going to move your eyes towards the floor. And as you bring the chin down, you are going to start looking up and continue as you breathe in and tilt your chin up, eyes are looking down, as you breathe out and bring the chin down, eyes are looking up. And then stop. <clears throat> Once again, tilt your chin up and see whether you can see even further behind. And then slowly come back. Now, <clears throat> keeping the hands on your knees, you're going to turn the upper body to the right side. And then you're going to tilt, arch your back, tilt your chin up, look at the ceiling. And then return to starting position. So 
you will keep the body turned to the right side in this position you will arch and look up breathing in breathing out you will come back with the body still turned to the right side second round breathing in one chanting as you breathe out come back to neutral third round and relax then once again you're going to turn the body to the right side now you're going to look down rounding your body and then come back to neutral second round breathing out round your back look down come back to neutral third round round your back look down come back to neutral and then turn back to the center and wait for some time allow the body to rest then once again turn the body to the right side and now arch your body lift up round your body look down arch your body lift up look up round your body look down arch your body look up round your body look down then again come back to the center and wait now you're going to do differentiating movement so <clears throat> when you turn to the right side as you arch and look up you will your eyes will look down to the floor and as you round and bring the head down you will try to look up complete the round and then turn back to the center and wait then we'll practice on the left side so you'll turn the entire body to the left side arch and look up return to neutral arch and look up return to neutral arch and look up return to neutral come back to the center and wait now you're going to turn to the left side arch and look up round and look down 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 then come back to the neutral position come back to center now you'll do a differentiating movement so you'll turn the entire body to the upper body to the left side as you arch and look up eyes will look down as you round and look down eyes will be looking up as you arch and look up eyes are looking down as you round and look up eyes are looking 
I mean, eyes are looking up, you are looking down. Arch as you are looking up, eyes down. Round as you look down, eyes look up. Last round, arch look up, eyes down. Round down, eyes up. Come back to the center. Turn the body to the center and wait. And then once again, lift your head up and see how further back are you now able to see having increased your flexibility even further. And now you're going to use this flexibility to rotate your head So you're going to tilt your head down with the chin almost touching your chest and then start rotating from the right side. Let it stretch the way you are able to do now. And then slowly come down. You're breathing in when your head is in the upward movement. And you start breathing out. When it is coming in the downward movement, one mantra when you are going on the upward direction till you reach the center, one mantra when you are coming down till you look down at the bottom. Continue for three, four more rounds. And ask yourself a question, as I am rotating the head in the upward direction, is my lower back naturally arching? As I am bringing my head down, is my lower back automatically rounding? See the synchronization that the body moves automatically, be aware of it. And then let the body do it in an accentuated way and see if your rotation is even further. When you allow the body the flexibility to arch and rotate around, are you able to increase your rotation, then come back to the central position and wait. Now we are going to move anti-clockwise, now with full awareness, allowing the body to arch when your head is tilting upwards, allowing it to round and see whether your circle is even better and without any strain on the neck. Start. Two more rounds and then stop. <clears throat> now you're going to stretch your right leg, right hand out and then rotate it externally. That is the thumb will go down and go out towards the back side of the body. Palms will start facing the sky. Slowly come back. As far as possible, keep looking straight. Slowly return. 
थर्ड राउंड फोर्थ राउंड लास्ट राउंड स्लोली कम बैक एंड देन ब्रिंग द हैंड बैक टू रेस्ट ऑन योर थाइस नाउ लेफ्ट साइड slowly return if you want to rest your shoulder please bring your hand back and then again stretch and do it okay third round fourth round last round and return the shoulder and rest allow both the shoulders to rest completely before we do the next movement now you're going to keep the hand straight in front similarly rotate externally and then try to reach out as though you are trying to pick something from the top shelf then return the hand back and then bring it down so once again raise your hand rotate externally reach out as though you are trying to pick something from the top shelf rotate the hand back and then bring the hand down to rest on your thighs last round hand straight rotate outwards reach out and then turn back and then bring the hand back and rest wait for some time now on the left side raise the hand up rotate outwards reach out slowly rotate back and then bring the hand down raise the hand up rotate outwards reach out rotate back bring the hand down and rest last round hand straight up rotate outwards reach out and then rotate back bring the hand down and wait now you going to imagine that you're playing the violin so you'll keep your left hand straight like this this is the violin string and you'll imagine that you're holding the rod of the violin in your right hand and start playing near the wrist now move a little behind away from the wrist and play there now further away now near the elbow i mean over the elbow now over the arm and over the shoulder blade imagine nice music coming from your violin and then release and relax now the right hand will become the string the left hand will hold the rod start playing over the wrist imagine you are playing beautiful violin so let the hand move now a little away from the wrist now further away from the wrist 
Now over the elbow. Over the middle of your arm. And over your shoulder. And then slowly release. Relax your hands. And wait for some time. <clears throat> now you're going to cross your hands like this one on top of the other and then you're going to take both the hands away so that they cross each other and then widen the hands as much behind as is possible once more Make it as straight as possible when you're crossing. And then spread it at the back. Third round. Spread it at the back. Fourth round. Spread it at the back. Fifth round, spread it at the back and then relax. <coughs> Once again, <clears throat> tilt your chin up, look up and see how much your flexibility has now increased. And then slowly come back to the neutral position. And now move your shoulders in different directions. Forward, up, backward, down. And see whether it has eased up in terms of its movement. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. Each shoulder see what has happened in terms of the flexibility now relax <clears throat> we have a couple of minutes more so we'll just try and do a replication of Tadasan to lengthen the spine a little bit. So interlace your fingers in front. Breathing in, raise the hands and bring them on top. Turn the palms facing the sky. Stretch your hands as much as you can, lengthening your spine. Now give a nice arch at the back for the spine. Turn the hand facing down and then bring the hand slowly down and wait for some time. <laughs> Second round, interlace the hands in front. Breathing in, raise the hands up. Hold your breath and turn the palms facing the sky. And tilt your chin up and look. Arch your lower back. Look at the back of the palm. Then breathing out, turn the palms down and then slowly bring your hand back. Now try and synchronize with the breath mantra and holding. Try and see if you can hold for two Gayatri chantings and then come down maybe for one Gayatri. So start. Om Eka Dandaya Vitmahe Vakra Tundaya Dhimahe Anno dandi prajodayad. Om yeka dandaya vidmahi. Vakratundaya dimahi. Tanno dandi prajodayad. Om yeka dandaya vidmahi. Vakratundaya dimahi. Tanno dandi prajodayad. Om yeka dandaya vidmahi. Vakratundaya dimahi. Tanno dandi prajodayad. And relax.
and now try and see because of all what you have done whether your kati chakrasan can be a little more accentuated so come to a standing position bring the hands breathing in at the shoulder level as you breathe out turn the right hand from behind see how much outside the waist it is coming left hand on the right shoulder see how much you can turn towards the right side then breathing in slowly come back at the shoulder level hold your breath breathing out very slowly come back and try the other side breathing in hands at the shoulder level breathing out left hand from around the waist right hand on the left shoulder turn to the left side and see how much more you can turn be aware of that accentuated turning angle breathing in come back at the shoulder level breathing out bring the hands slowly down and sit down for closure <clears throat> what we have done should help <clears throat> when you work consistently on computers your shoulders may be a little more relaxed today when you are working when you are looking at the handphones etc you will become more conscious and aware and you may start looking up more often rather than continuously looking at your cell phone see whether that awareness is improved <clears throat> and you don't continuously keep bending your neck down to look at your phone so let me know <clears throat> whether any changes in your awareness has happened after the practice <laughs> get ready to chant mantra om three times once again make your sankalpa i am chanting om creating a protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences antibodies and viruses take a deep breath in for om mantra om Shanti mantras. <clears throat> Asatoma sad gamaye, tamasoma jyotir gamaye, mrityorma amritam gamaye, sarvesham swastir bhavatu, sarvesham shantir bhavatu, sarvesham purnam bhavatu. sarvesham mangalam bhavatu loga samasta sukhino bhavantu om trayambakam yachamahe sugandhim pushti vardanam parvarukami vabandanan mrityor mukshi yamamritat om shanti 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 he Are you? Rub your hands nicely. When they are really warm, then keep them on your eyes. Gently open your eyes. Be observant of colors you see. 
slowly release your hands. In case you are working on the computer, once in a way, keep your hands like this, look up, arch your lower back, and possibly lift your shoulders up. <clears throat> that will also ease up quite a bit. And let me know how it works when you work. Okay, bye. See you on Monday. Uh, see you on Tuesday. Thursday.